and I don't want no trash ass nigga. So. Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Morgan Sierra and I'm back with another video. We did our first get ready with me today, hair, makeup, and outfits. Um, so yeah, this was my first get ready with me. So it, they will get better throughout time, but I still wanted to drop one for y'all or whatever. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, you know, leave me a nice comment because you know, your girl trying to step outside in this YouTube world. But yeah, like I said, I hope y'all enjoy this video. I just kind of talked to y'all about a few things like random topics and yeah, just did my makeup disclaimer i'm not a makeup artist this is not a makeup tutorial so keep your comments your negative comments to yourself but i'm not gonna keep this intro too long i'm just gonna go ahead and get into the video like i said make sure you comment like and subscribe check out my latest vlog that i just posted actually today so by the time you see this that video will be up also watch all my previous videos and yeah i'll see y'all later besties I'm gonna go ahead and start with my hair. It's obviously already done, but it's been like two days and I'm just gonna kind of fix my edges and I already tried to do me some more flips, but yeah. So this is not a tutorial. I want to specify that it's not a tutorial. I'm not talented enough to do a tutorial, but some of you have commented on my videos and said y'all wanted to get ready with me, a little makeup, whatever. So we're just gonna do a little get ready with me, period. So my hair is already done. So I'm just going to, like hair is definitely not my forte. So I looked up a YouTube video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to do these flips. Real really can't get them as perfect as Mayla had them, but this will just get you not that bad. You know, it's still giving them a flip. It's still giving them a flip, bro. Okay, so y'all did what I can do at the Don't judge me. But yeah. I'm just gonna fix my edges. I got some got to be. And that's really all she laid my edges down with. And I got some edge control, edge booster. I find that this is the best edge control for my hair. Cause the other stuff just don't be working, child. But yeah, this get ready with me is kind of gonna be all over the place when it comes to like the topics that I'll be talking about. But yeah. Um, I did get some new subscribers for this past month in July, so I do want to just kind of go over like a few basic questions about myself that y'all might want to know. Y'all might not want to know, but I'm going to tell y'all. Anyway, I do have a Q&A posted, so definitely go ahead and check that out for me. But yeah, if this is your first time seeing me. Yo, Jesus, sorry about that y'all. The delivery people keep pulling up and the dog keep barking. Anyway, like I was saying, um, if you're, this is your first time watching me, you just wanna know a little bit about me and just gonna you know, throw some stuff out. So yeah, um, well obviously I'm Morgan C. Era. Um, I started my YouTube channel like in February of this year. Um, well, I made a YouTube last year with my best friend, but that really didn't work out. So I decided to make my own channel this year. And yeah, that's just something that I've always wanted to do. I've been obsessed with YouTube since I was in high school. Literally, I only watch YouTube. Like, I would rarely watch TV. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Sorry about that. But yeah, like, I watch a lot of YouTube. Of course, I started off, um, 
watch your makeup tutorials. And at that point, I watched a lot of like, like back then, that's when like the makeup beauty industry was just like popping. So I watched a lot of Jaclyn Hill, um, Carly Bible. Sorry about that guys. Dog kept barking because if y'all watched my last vlog, which I posted today, I'm starting a new job Monday. So they just deliver all my computer stuff. So, it was like 10 packages. But what I was saying before I got really interrupted, child, let me not mess up nothing. Trust me, I'm not a hair girl. All right, that's pretty much for the hair. Cause like I said, I just got it done. So it wasn't much I had to do. Just wanted to kind of touch up on my lips and make sure my edges are snatched. But yeah, anyway, when I started watching YouTube, it was a lot of like white makeup artists, which is nothing wrong with it because they were very talented and I really enjoyed them. But the thing is, after a while, it does get kind of hard if you are learning how to do makeup and you're of a darker complexion. So at that point, when I, I was allowed to wear makeup when I was 16, so that's when I was like, okay, I need to go makeup shopping, but I don't know what to get. So I stumbled across Aaliyah J page and baby, it changed my life. Like I learned how to apply lashes, brows, everything I learned about LA Girl Concealer, like literally, Aaliyah J. Yeah. And this was like 2013, 14, I think. So, yeah. So that was very, very, she was very helpful when it came to me starting to do makeup. But yeah. So I, like, after that, that's like, I'll start watching her. And I just kind of start tapping in more with like other black YouTubers. Um, but then once I got to a certain age, I started watching vlogs and the first person vlog that I watched was DDG and that's when, um, I'm sure y'all know who DDG is, but that's when he was dating this girl named Essence and they were in college and I was like, oh, that's so cute. Like, I didn't know YouTube was like, like that. I thought it was just tutorials or whatever. So, child, this basically is how I started my YouTube journey so I'm just talking but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my hair so my edges can lay and I don't get makeup in them so I'm just gonna wrap it any kind of way child and yeah wrap this scarf in right now at the hair store but yeah so I'm well first I'm gonna fix my robe Okay, so yeah, hair is done. You know, I added some more clips. I tried to chill. And yeah, so we just gonna go ahead and hop into makeup. But anyway, so yeah, where did I leave off? So I started watching DDG vlogs, and that's when I kind of opened up a whole new YouTube journey, like of what I like to watch. Like I started watching hella people. So um that just really made me start to want to do like wanting to do youtube or whatever like i don't know i just fell in love with youtube and that's all i watch so it's like i don't know i just got inspired by so many different people like from makeup from vlogs from hauls everything so yeah and that's why i wanted to start youtube but i just started youtube this year so it took me a long time so if you are watching this and you want to start youtube but you just don't know where to start or how to start i would recommend just starting like literally that's the best advice i can give you if you want to start a youtube channel start it like literally don't worry about oh i don't have the right equipment like showing this video right now on my phone i'm in the bathroom i don't have the best lighting but you know we're gonna make it do what it do so it's like if you start thinking about what you don't have or like making up excuses, you're never gonna start. That's what I did. I never was like gonna start because I kept making up so many excuses. Like, I don't do this, but I need, no, no, just start. Like first step, start. You'll figure out everything as you go. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just figuring it out. And of course, watch other YouTubers. I'm not saying copy off them, but get inspiration of like your favorite YouTubers and you know, decide on what you want your vibe of your page to be. So, yeah, like I said, 
So yeah, new to YouTube or whatever. I'm 23, I'm a Capricorn. Where my Capricorn is at, okay? I am a Barb. <laughs> if you ain't a Barb, just please don't tell me because honey, we not gonna get along. Because you know, bad bitches are Barb and Barbs are bad bitches, period. So yeah, um, I'm just giving y'all a little random fact that I already said, but y'all might not have seen. If you watch my blog also that I just posted, I use eyeshadow for eyebrows. So this is the Morphe palette and the it's listed as day slayer so i think that's the name of it so i'm just gonna use these two colors right here to do my eyebrows and i'm not really that good on eyebrows so i'm just gonna speed this up and i'll get to y'all i'll get to y'all when i'm doing my eyebrows all right y'all so i'm back i did my brows um, this is as good as it's gonna get like i cannot do my brows on here because Y'all not about to judge me. Y'all probably already gonna judge me. But um, I think the last thing I was talking about was just starting your YouTube, like stop making excuses. So yeah, I recommend you to just start because you, you never know where you might go. And first and foremost, do it because you like, of course, like let's be real, of course, everyone wants to get paid for the work that they do, but also do it to have fun and like do it as a passion because if you do it for like just the money you're going to get discouraged in the beginning because the money is not just going to come like you you never know when it's going to come it comes quick for some people it you know it comes slow for some people so still have fun with it that's what i'm saying like don't because at first i'm not gonna lie like when i was editing my few videos or whatever i'm like it's no point of doing this i'm not gonna get views or whatever and i still don't get a lot of views but i'm just grateful for what i do get and i trust in god that he's gonna put me in a in a good position with this youtube stuff and for my vegas vlog i'm like ugh, i gotta edit this vlog it's gonna take so long i probably gonna get like 30 views and i have 5,000 views on that video might not seem like a lot but that's a lot for me because i do not get that many views so it's like i didn't know that video was gonna blow up you know so you just have to trust in god and trust in yourself and just do it okay do it but yeah um yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation in the color Maple. So this is how it looks. Um, honestly, I'm not really a foundation girl. I usually use LA Girl Pro Concealer as my foundation in the color Chestnut, but I ran out. This is a little light, and I'm so I'm going to go ahead and mix it with this Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Uh, multi-use sculpting concealer in the color chestnut i love this concealer so much so i'm just gonna add this to my face like so and when i do my little pumps it's random i might be using too much i might not be using enough who fucking knows who fucking cares okay this is how I do my makeup. So do not judge me. I'm not a makeup artist. Okay. So I went ahead and mixed the Born This Way. And I'm going to go ahead and blend with this brush right here. I got this brush from BH Cosmetics. It don't have a name, but it was just like a random brush set. It was real cheap too. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. every time because I don't and I'm sorry about the lighting y'all I just have to work with what I have so I apologize but yeah I went ahead and blended all my foundation like so like that all right so now it's concealer time all right so I'm gonna use the born this way that I just used Cause it's kind of like my skin color 
I just like to do a small little layer under my eye and down the bridge of my nose. Um, yeah, I have like no logic. I just do it before I put on my concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and wet my beauty blender. Oh, that sounds nasty. Just put a little water on it. Squeeze that out. It's dirty. Mind my business. But yeah. Um, I'm so excited for my YouTube journey though, y'all. Like, I'm just excited to grow as a person. Um, I'm 23, so I just feel like I'm about to be 24 next year. And there's just things I want to accomplish. And I want to, and it's not even about like money and new places and new cars and stuff. I want to, y'all seen that? I want to grow as a person, you know? Um, it's just like, my life has not been the easiest, but I'm still thankful for everything that I have going on in my life. But there's still a lot of things that I hold on to and I'm just ready to release it all. Like that goes from past relationships family trauma like just childhood trauma everything like i'm sick of talking about it i'm sick of using that you know as my excuse even though it's hard dealing with that type of stuff but at the end of the day at some point you have to just move on from from it i'm just at the point where i'm sick of talking about it like i'm sick of trying to build and fix relationships and i'm sick of just all of that shit i'm just gonna be honest and I want to start growing as a person. And in order to grow, you have to kind of close certain chapters in your life. So that's just what that's just what I'm ready to do. Like that's just where I'm at with everything. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm adding the Tarte concealer in the color tan tan deep sand. Um, I love this concealer. I'm really running out, so it's not that much coming up on my face as y'all can see but i'm gonna go ahead and mix that with the la girl pro concealer in the color honey warm honey so i'm just gonna squeeze that and just add that but ah but yeah i'm just ready to start like i don't know letting go of things i feel like a lot of people hold stuff in so much to the point where it just holds them back. Like, I don't even know if that makes sense, but that's just how I feel. I feel like I hold so much stuff in that it holds me back and I'm just so sick of it. It's like either, either I'm gonna fix certain shit or heal certain shit or become cool with certain people again or just whatever the case might be. It's either I'm gonna do that or just get the fuck over it. And I'm at the point where I'm just ready to get the fuck over it because, sorry about that, y'all. But yeah, I'm just ready to get over stuff, you know? Like, y'all probably confused, but if you feel me, I hope you, I hope we hear. But yeah, I just feel like I'm really becoming a grown woman. Like, it's kind of hard getting out of that teenage, early, early, early 20 phase into going to a grown woman. But like, I don't know. I just feel like 24 is gonna be such a good year for me. Because honestly, 23 was a good year for me. Like, I, I learned a lot about myself. I'm still learning, and I'm just like, I don't know. It's just like certain things don't excite me no more. And I'm sorry, I'm letting my concealer sit, by the way. But yeah, certain things don't excite me no more. I don't want to be around certain energy anymore. Like, I can just see myself growing, and I just want to continue on this journey, okay? So, I would say, if you have anything in your life that's that you feel like it's holding you back or causing you pain causing you negative energy negative vibes let it go and this can go for anybody i said it before and i'll say it again like anybody parents siblings cousins aunties friends exes current boyfriends current whatever like literally if it, if it doesn't help you in any kind of way if it's not helping you grow giving you advice um anything if it's not if people in your life is not helping you or situations in your life is not helping you let it go like let it go that's the first step because you're not going to be able to grow unless you kind of just you know cut some negative ass shit off cut that nasty ass negative negativity off so that's where i'm at with everything like whatever is not serving me a purpose right now in my life i'm just ready to let it go like and it's not a certain person it's not a certain thing it's just anything like 
I had a toxic ass job that I let go. And God blessed me with another job that I start Monday. So it's just like stuff like that. And I'm a type of person like in my younger like ages and kind of now, like I hate change. I'm scared of change and I just, I don't like change. If I'm comfortable with something, I like to stay in that space. And, and that's like, that's not good. Because how the hell you gonna grow and you and you scared to change? You like you have to change in order to grow. And if it's not uncomfortable, if it's uncomfortable, then it's working. You gotta get uncomfortable. If you too comfortable, whatever in whatever you're doing, mm -mm, it's no room for change with that. I'm gonna just fix my eyebrow a little bit. But yeah, so that's where I'm at right now with. Turning 24 in January, I just want to, I want to be, like, number one, I want to be happy, like, just, I know that sounds crazy, like, I just want to be happy, like, not faking it, not pretending to be happy, not happy on this day and Saturday, I want to be happy every day with where I'm at, with what I have, and just, like, that's just the type of time I'm on. So, I'm on this journey of just, you know, finding myself and stuff, so yeah. That's that. I went ahead and blended out all my concealer and I'm going to go ahead and um, bake a little bit with this Morphe baking set, setting powder in the color Banana Rich. I love this. I never could find a good baking powder for me, but this hit in, in every aspect. So, yeah, y'all. I hope y'all feeling me where I'm coming from. But anyway, how do y'all feel about the baby? Like, right now, it's like, I can't scroll without seeing his ass in the motherfucking blogs. At this point, I feel like he should just shut up. Like, I don't know. I feel like he should just shut up. Because it seems like it just get worse every time he say something. Like, I don't know, child. Comment with y'all. How do y'all feel about that? Like, do y'all feel like he was wrong? Do y'all feel like people are going too hard? How do y'all feel? I mean, it definitely was wrong what he said. That's a given. But yeah, it's just crazy. I don't know, like, y'all, Instagram be draining me, like, and I'm kind of just patting this setting powder in to blend my concealer. Please don't listen to what I'm saying when it comes to makeup, y'all. Any uh, any other advice, y'all need to listen to me. But when it comes to makeup, please don't listen to me because I don't know what I'm doing. I just know when I'm done with my makeup, I look cute. Now, anything else? I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking in this angle. I probably look crazy. But, all right, so... That's enough with the bacon. I'm looking like Michael Jackson. So we're gonna go ahead and add some color to my face. This is my absolute favorite part of makeup. It's contour. I love it. Ah! Oh shit. I love it, 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 I love it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my nose. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit in the color Deep. This is hella old. It looks a mess, but you know. Y'all make her look like this too. Don't don't be judging me. But yeah, y'all, Instagram be draining me. It's like every time I get on it, it's somebody died, somebody, you know, it's some negativity with all these celebrities and stuff. It's just like, oh my God. Sometimes I just have to give myself breaks throughout the day because, you know, like when people die and stuff, it just be so sad. I just be feeling so bad or it's just like, it be draining me. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's like every other day you look in the blogs, it's a new celebrity that died or some people in your city dying and stuff. It's honestly very sad and it's very like draining. Like, who oh, child, this world, like I just, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Like, it just, it begins to become a lot at some point, so. I've been finding myself just not really on Instagram. Like, I'll go watch my friend's story, watch my favorite little people on Instagram to watch, and I'll just get off Instagram because, you know. But yeah. 
that's that. So right now I'm just adding some powder on top of my cream contour to kind of set it. This is the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette in the color HCPP01. I don't know if that's the actual color, but yeah, I'm just about to finish contour my nose with this, so. I'll be back when everything's all contoured up. And also, I use this contour for my cheeks. I don't use the cream contour because I used to use both and it really was like too harsh. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start my contour on my cheeks. tutorial because I'm not a makeup artist and I don't know how to do really makeup like I'm probably doing steps wrong and everything makeup kind of got in my side burn so I was just brushing that out but yeah I went ahead and added blush as well and I'm just gonna like blend everything with this brush that I use my foundation with so it can just all look like one if that makes sense but yeah i want to know where some of my subscribers are from where are y'all from i'm from jacksonville florida well i was raised in jacksonville florida originally from cleveland ohio but where is, so where are y'all from let me know i seen one of my jack um subscribers in the in the club one night like a few weeks ago well like a month ago and i'm gonna go ahead and do my lip liner as well now but yeah, I seen one of my subscribers. It was so weird. We was at the bathroom line and she ended up coming inside with me and my friend Nayla. And she was like, do you do YouTube? I was like, oh my God. And I knew exactly who she was because in my blog at the time, I had seen someone from Jacksonville comment and like, that's rare. So I knew who she was too. I said, oh my God, you commented on my video. And yes, that was like, oh my God, the best feeling ever. I never even told y'all about that story. That was the best feeling ever. I'll never forget that. The first person that noticed me from YouTube. And that's when I had like, that was like in June. Yeah, that was like in June. So that was just amazing. She said she gonna start YouTube. I hope she do. If you watching this, sis, start your YouTube so I can subscribe to you. Ah! Uh, message but yeah start your youtube sis so i can subscribe and we can collab we can link up so this is my lip combo i've had this lip combo since 2016 so i need a new one so if you have any suggestions send them below but i use like any brown lip liner in this case i use eyeshadow i use this matte lipstick oh my god I don't know the name of it. Okay, I don't know the name of the company because I had to order this from Amazon, but I usually get it out of Dollar General. But it's this color right here. And this is how the top looks. So I don't know what y'all can do with that. But this is the main, like, this is the main part of my lip combo. So I just put that on, let it dry, and I put it on again. It's a matte lipstick. The reason I bought it because I thought it was gonna look cute on me and it didn't, so I ended up putting lip gloss on top of it and baby, changed my life. So you can add any lip gloss. This is one of the lip glosses from my brand that I was gonna bring out, but I never did. So I'm just gonna put that on top. 
but you can literally do any color on top and of course I'm always gonna add my hair store lip gloss as well so I usually do my lip combo last but I don't know why I just did this right now all right so can y'all see put on my lashes this is from my brand this is not my case but this is the case that the vendor sent it in but yeah these are in the style butterflies part two but i'm gonna redrop them and i'm gonna name them i can't tell y'all but all right y'all sorry about that has to free up some storage oh my god this is aggravating but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes i'll be a bad bitch in five four three two one and just like that i'm a bad bitch okay shop more is fly meat when we drop okay because honey just takes you from basic to baddie in like two seconds. But anyway, all right, I did my lashes, so I'm really almost done with my face. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the second. Ooh, sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and head to my second favorite um, makeup step, which is highlighter. This is the Artist Couture in the color Sugar Daddy. Y'all, this is the only highlighter I really use. This is the favorite highlighter. I had this highlighter for so long. Like, if I tell y'all how long, y'all gonna think I'm nasty how long I had this but it really lasts it's worth every penny i usually would set my face before i apply my highlighter but i ran out of my setting powder i mean my setting spray so i'm just gonna take this brush i got this from the naked palette it was the brush that came with it so i use it for my nose highlighter so yeah i'm just gonna add it to my nose you know the little tip then take it a little bit down the bridge of my nose not all the way just at the top and kind of blend that out um, yeah. And yeah, that's it. And I like to kind of go back with the contour brush that I did for my nose and just kind of like retouch up on that to snatch my nose some more. Y'all see? I don't know if I can see that. Yeah. So yeah. Um, this get ready with me is just, you know, if you want to go out with your girls, out with your men. I ain't going nowhere, but um, yeah, this is just like if I was going somewhere. I actually went out like a few like last weekend and I wore this outfit and child it was so cute. I didn't take no pictures or nothing. And I didn't even have my hair done. So now I got my hair done. Oh baby, we finna put the outfit back on. Period. So I'm just gonna add the same highlighter to my cheeks. Y'all know how to highlight, y'all know where to put it. And yeah, I used to go crazy with the highlighter when I used to use that um, Fenty, what was the Fenty highlighter called? The real gold one? I can't remember, but child, I use that shit heavily, heavily. Like, that was it. That was it for me, but yeah, I love this. I just want a little glow, like, you know? And you can go crazy with the highlighter or you can, you know, do a little subtle look. I like to meet it in the middle, so. And with that, I like to add this little blush that I got that I like to put on top of my contour. I would show y'all the inside of the palette, but it's nasty. <laughs> but I got this from Boxy Charm a few years ago. All right, so I like to just touch it up with this little toasty warm color and just kind of go over my contour. All right, so that's that. I would normally set my face after that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more lip gloss. Cause it's getting a little dry. I love this color so much, y'all. And yeah, let's see what's next. Hold on, baby, I might be done. I don't do eyeshadow or nothing, but I'm gonna go ahead and take off my scarf and see what this forehead looking like. This is my least favorite part because I always mess up my hair. Y'all yeah, finna look crazy. Ooh. Let me fix my edges. Well, damn. I might have put too much dots to be okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix my forehead. I'm gonna use that Too Faced Born This Way concealer. 
and just fill in whatever I didn't get to do earlier because my scarf is on and blend that in. But y'all, I don't know what I was talking about earlier, but is it me or do God need to send us a new group of niggas down here? Like, y'all, come on now, it can't just be me. It's like the boys these days is just trash as fuck. They don't even try. Before they would at least try. They don't even try. They just trash as fuck. And I don't want no trash ass nigga. So that's why I be. Is this powder still on? No. But yeah, that's why I be by my lonely. At the top, it get lonely. Fuck what I say, cause they don't know me. And if you say you love me, gotta show me. It get lonely at the top, it get lonely. It get lonely at the top. Y'all see that dust? I'm gonna just touch up some highlighter. So right now I'm just gonna do, just finish touches on like random stuff on my face. And just make sure everything is blended and I'm done. It don't really take me much. <laughs> that didn't even make sense. But yeah. Um, I'm gonna do like a little light eyeshadow. I already put on my lashes. I don't like to do this this way, but whatever. Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna put like one of these colors just to put something on my lids. But yeah, like we need a new group of niggas to be sitting down here. I know I'm not the only one I feel like that. Yeah. That's just that. Like, why is it just the niggas in Jacksonville that's trash, or what? Cause I be feeling like I'm not gonna meet my man until I move. So wherever I want to move after I leave Jacksonville, which I still can't decide between two places, but I feel like my soulmate is gonna be in one of those places. You know. But until then. I'm just chilling, honestly. All right, so I just added like this little light nude color. Go ahead and add my fake moles, period. Y'all know what it is and what it ain't. Play with your mothers. Don't play with Morgan, play with your mother. And I'm just gonna add some eyeliner too. I'll be back when I'm done with my eyeliner. All right, y'all, so I'm done with everything. This is better lighting, because I got my ring light now. Sorry that it's better than when I was doing my makeup. But yeah, pretty much done. Here's my hair, I tried to do me some flips, child. Don't judge me. But yeah, so I'm done with my makeup. This is pretty much like when I'm going out with my friends, going out to dinner, going on a date, or just going out, period. This is like the makeup look that I'll do. Real simple, but like cute and I just added some more flips to my hair. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get dressed and I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I'm back, I'm dressed. I wish I can give y'all a full view, but I'll try to insert boomerangs. Um, This is the fit. It's the perfect little brunch fit, night fit, day fit. You could just switch it up however you like. But yeah, this is my bag. Everything is from Sheen, I'll link it below, the dress. This is a dress, by the way. I'll put in a little screenshot of it right here. But yeah, dress, purse, and my shoes are from Shein. So this is the look. I tried to match these yellows or whatever. Try to get it perfect or whatever. But yeah, I love this bag. It's so freaking pretty. And this dress is so cute. All right, y'all. So the lighting isn't the greatest, but here is the full fit. So I got my Sanzo.
um that was that with this get ready with me i hope y'all enjoyed it you know i just was rambling or whatever but i do hope y'all enjoy it i actually had fun filming it so if you want to see more get ready with me's um just go ahead and comment below and i'll do that for y'all but other than that thank y'all so much for watching this video make sure you check out my latest videos and i will see y'all in my next video Purr. bye besties Oh, no.